Christian Placido, CPS Boxing News over here with Liam Gurry. How you doing, brother? I'm very well, mate. Very well. Good, good. How, you know, prepared are you for this fight? How you feel for this fight that is coming out soon? I'm very prepared. I can't wait. I can't wait to get back in the Bellator cage. It's been way too fucking long. I see, gotcha. Tell me how you recover from the injury that you have in your in your hand. What was the process? Uh, the process was just patience, really. Something that I lacked. Um, I couldn't really do a great deal. You know, if, if I'd have knocked it, tapped it, or done anything to it, it would have it would kind of messed it up again, you know? So there, there really wasn't much I could do. Were you able to do like, you know, like kind of like workout in, in, in a way that you were injured like that? Oh, you I just rested. Work out with my legs. Mm. Wow, that was. <laughs> and we all know, we all know how skinny my legs are, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could point to the Napa. You know, definitely. And let's say in the future, would you like to face um, this opponent? That his name is uh, Ryan Bader. Go back. And I uh, and uh, I think he's a light light heavyweight uh, yeah. champion. Yeah, yeah. If that fight happens, where would you like to fight him? Where would I like to fight him? Yeah. Wait, Here in in, you know in, in the Madison Square. Man, let, me, let me let me let me I'm fighting Vadim Nemkov. Not Ryan, not Ryan Bader. Ryan Bader's got his thing, I've got my thing. You know, oh, wow. it's, 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 uh, I'm taking care of Ryan to, 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 to take care of Vadim Nemkov first, right? Then I work my way through him. I'll go through him, then the other one, then the other one, then the other one. He's busy in his fucking tournament. Let him do his tournament and then I'll take care of my fucking shit, right? Yeah, definitely. It, let's say if he that fight you know, happens, how excited you could be for that fight, you know, or how do you feel the crowd, it would, you know, come and support you, and it would be, I'm pretty sure, that historic for, you know, both fighters, like, you know, the type of person that you are, and, you know, a fighter that he comes, you know, and we already know that he's a champion too, so how, how the impact for MMA would be, you know, this fight? We'll wait till we get there, huh? you know, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, my mind is focused on one fight, right? And that's one person and one person only. I don't care about any of the other people. I couldn't give a shit. They can fucking do whatever they want to do and I'm doing what I'm doing, okay? I see a champ. You know I see what I mean? You know what I mean? Definitely. I'll get my belt back when it's time to get it back. Definitely, you know, I'm pretty sure that you will and you're ready for this. Yeah. You got any message for all your fans, you know, that they're going to come and, you know, support you? Don't worry about my language on this little interview, but uh, I'm, I'm ready for a fight. You're all going to expect that. You're going to have a good fight on your hands. Um, me and Vadim Nemkov, heavy-handed guy. I'm a heavy-handed guy. I like to throw bombs. He likes to throw bombs. My jiu-jitsu is on point. I'm on point. I'm back to where I was at, where I was where before I bust my thumb. So February 16th, watch it, and you're going to be you're in for a good show. Fireworks on the ring. Yeah. Thank you again, Liam McGrady. Wishing you success. Thanks very much. Man. Appreciate it. Thank you.